Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry here, back again. Today, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Xiaomi Black Shark cooling fan. Now, I bought this on eBay. It was about $40 um, after taxes and everything. And essentially, this is a USB-C powered cooling fan for your smartphone. Now, here's the box that it came in. Um, it did take about a month to get here from China. Um, but as you can see, a nice box. Uh, it didn't come with anything other than the fan itself. I'll go ahead and set that aside. Now, this here is not battery powered, so it does require a constant power source. So I will show you how I've been using this. And then I will also show you some testing that I've done to essentially, um, you know, see how well this cooling actually works. And I did get some promising results from the tests that I ran here. So first off, how I've been powering this, I just have a battery bank here with a USB-C cable. And go ahead and plug that in there. Flip this little switch. And you see that it turns on. Now, just from this running uh, for a few seconds, this here, right here, this pad does get very cold uh, already. It's definitely cold. So it's working there. So now um, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like on the phone. Now I have my Galaxy S10 Plus here in my Razer Jungle Cat controller. Now, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to set this up yet because the fan itself cools best when the phone is touching the back of the fan directly. Um, I did run some tests putting it on the back of this here, but it didn't quite give me any good results at all um, as opposed to not running the fan. So. I'll have to mess around with that and see if I can set it up to, uh, to to work with this here. But for now, I'll go ahead and remove this from the case. So we have that here. Now, essentially, all you need to do is stick this preferably in the center where the CPU is. And then you can go ahead and plug this in and turn it on. Simple as that. Now, let me go ahead and show you some tests that I ran on the CPU thermal throttling test app here. And there's definitely some, some good results here. So this picture shows the results I got from running this test. Now, this is without the fan. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off. Now, this is without the fan. As you can see, I tested it for five and a half minutes. The CPU did end up throttling down to 80%, uh, about a little over halfway, you can see that there. And if we go over to this other picture here, this is with the fan. And by the way, this is at 100% screen brightness. Um, as you can see with the fan here, there wasn't really any dip to 80% like there was with the other one. There was a small dip here. Uh, this was about at five and a half minutes, but I decided to let it run a little bit longer just to see if it would recover and it did go back to uh, higher speeds there. So definitely some noticeable differences there. We'll have to run some additional tests after a while, but um, for now, I mean, you can see that there's definitely some, some notable difference in there. So, definitely helps. Um, as for the fan itself, it definitely doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels, it feels premium. Uh, it's all plastic, and then there's this um, rubber pad here. That cools up, cools down, and 
these uh, little things just go out like that. I believe these are also rubber. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a nice little device here. Again, I'm going to have to mess around with it and see if I can get it to cool on this um, Razor Jungle Cat. As you can see, I already have some thermal padding in here to help with heat absorption. Um, I'll have to maybe see if I can somehow you know, cut a hole in this here just to get this to have to mess around with it a bit. But I do plan on putting all these things together to essentially create the ultimate Android gaming device. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this is just a, a short video. I just wanted to show this off here. And I got this off eBay. And it, I believe it was like $38, 38 to $40. Uh, but yeah, definitely a nice little investment there if you're heavy into Android gaming. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching.